Cause he really rock with me way back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you stuck right now. Thought you had it all figured out back then, girl. How about now? I'm up right now. And you stuck right now. Off a little effort that you put in was enough, girl. How about now? Yeah. Hi guys, it's Dean. Welcome to my channel. Oh my god, I haven't said that in such a long time. It's been such an amazing journey for me. Ever since I moved to the United States, I got married to the love of my life. It's just been so amazing. Josh and I have been just settling down, have been enjoying married life. It's just such a blessing to be married and to just have this love and this joy in your marriage and God at the center of a marriage, which is so important. What also makes me happy is you guys and you have been wanting a video from me for such a long time and it's about weight loss and I know you guys want to be healthy, want to know what I do to keep my weight or to just at least kind of stay in shape because you know I love food too much. So I want to do a little video for you guys on my weight on what I eat so let's just get right into it as soon as you get married you have to think about the fact that everything gets more expensive everything is gonna be twice as much as you've paid before essentials for your household groceries and it's twice as expensive as it has been before which means the budget for food is going down and it's sad because here in the United States everything that's healthy is automatically more expensive which is sad because if you guys want us to be in a good shape and be healthy why don't just stop raising the prices of salad and anything that is healthy make stuff like pizza and frozen food more expensive uh just a thought you kind of tend to go for stuff like pasta and rice and stuff like that but hey it is so much easier so i'm going to show you guys what i eat to keep my weight i eat at least two times a day and josh and i have been really loving beef and just meat and that's a really good thing to eat guys protein you guys need protein that is something you can get for cheap at every single store around here and you can literally just eat meat if you want to put some vegetables on the side and you're good that is our fridge that we have right here we have little notes right here blessed because Jesus so let's see what we have in the fridge Cucumbers are my favorite thing in the world. I know this looks so wrong. Stop being perverts guys. These things have like no calories I love 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 making cucumber salad One cucumber has about 80 calories, which is nothing and it fills you up so quick Use some yogurt dressing or just some Caesar salad dressing. It's gonna taste so good guys. I love making salads. I love making beef What I also love is eating dessert. Each one of us starts craving sugar and dessert at some point How about you just grant yourself a little bit of sugar every single day? That's what I do. I have a little box of cookies that I love I found these amazing pretzel snacks at 7-eleven. They're like honey mustard and onion and I was so in love They're so good any kind of snack that you really like just grant yourself a little bit every single day and that way you don't even start binge eating or have this whole eating fit in the middle of the night and you eat the whole fridge. Water is an essential. It's really, really important to just switch from soft drinks to water. I still have a hard time. I don't like drinking Coke. I usually just tend to have the Diet Coke, which has no calories. It's still bad for you, so don't follow this advice. Like, I still am trying to get over that. But if you can, try to go for water. Try to go for orange juice, which is super healthy. By the way, it tastes amazing in the morning. I also try to cut out dairy products, especially milk. Milk bloats so quick. All of us have that one body part that is the first to gain tons of weight as soon as you gain a little bit of weight. For me it's the cheeks. I started looking like a little chipmunk and I have no idea why. So what milk does to me, it bloats my cheeks. I look like a chipmunk. So I'm trying to cut out dairy. You don't have to feel like there's no milk for you. There's nothing for you. You can drink your coffee. There are so many substitutes for milk as in almond milk, coconut milk. I personally prefer almond milk. I went to Starbucks the other day had my usual hot chocolate but substituted milk for almond milk it was honestly so much better you know how they have vanilla pumps and all of these kind of flavors the almond milk already has its own flavor goals let's talk about the workout part i would definitely recommend trying to find a time to actually run but if you can't and that's what i do i don't have a gym membership or anything so what i do is when i go grocery shopping i don't wait for josh 
I just walk to the store. I just walk to the places I want to go to. That saves me so much time. That helps me to get everything done before he's home. Plus, it gives me a little workout. I'm outside. I get to walk. You shouldn't be afraid of walking. I know everyone here in the United States is so used to just driving to any single place. Even if it's just around the corner. Stop doing that. Just walk. Use your feet. You have them for a reason. And it helps you to just stay fit. To just stay energetic. Because if you just lay in bed all day and just use the car the entire time, you're going to be lazy. You're going to end up feeling tired from doing nothing. I promise you guys, I felt like that before. Josh and I both love eating out together. We love Olive Garden, Chili's, all of these kind of places, but it gets expensive. Plus, the portions are super big. When you go out to eat here in the United States, you get these super, super big portions. You just feel like you have to eat them because you spend so much money. Plus, they smell amazing. What we do and what's an amazing tip for you guys, couples, Split a plate. Don't be afraid. Don't think it's weird to split a plate or ask for that. Splitting a plate is always smarter. Plus helps you with your budget and also helps you with your weight and your shape. You don't eat as much as you would usually do. You still get to taste the amazing food that you can have at the amazing restaurants like Olive Garden. But you keep your shape. If you guys like this video, smash the like button and make sure to click this little bell right next to my name to never miss a video and get amazing notifications of whatever we are gonna upload. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more coming up soon and for an amazing announcement. Love you guys so much. Bye! <laughs>